Friends and neighbors, welcome to PJCon 2021. This is the opening ceremonies. Um, what is PJCon? It's ridiculous. So originally, we Jasper and I, uh, that's Jasper. I'm Pat six two six. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were gonna be uh, heading to a convention. Yeah, I and, was really excited. And unfortunately, that con convention um, didn't really have any sort of uh, vaccine mandates or uh, really any even any good vac. Uh, like mask policies. And I don't so, think they said anything in a time frame that made us comfortable. Yeah. So, uh, so um, we decided, you know what, we're not going to go there. So uh, we're going to make our own convention with uh, blackjack and hookers. Indeed. <laughs> we need to actually get a deck of cards so we can play blackjack on camera. Gotta have a deck of cards somewhere, but you'll have yeah. to teach me how to play blackjack. You're kidding me. No. Uh, so we decided to make our own, uh, all right, I'm a little quiet, so I'm going to get a little closer to the mic. Is that okay. better? Um, so we decided to make our own con convention. Uh, PJCon stands for Pat JazzCon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but also for PJCon because we're both wearing pajamas of one variety or the other. I like my gym jams. I I'm wearing the pajama bottom. Uh, he's wearing the pajama top. That means that if you combine us both together, you have one set of pajamas and one of us is naked. <laughs> but no, they, we're not. This is this is Twitch, not OnlyFans. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you guys hear me okay now? By the way, I heard Pat was a little quiet before, and I haven't heard anything since. It, it, I, I, I don't matter. I don't matter as much because soon I'm going to stop talking, and it's going to all be you. But. <laughs> Yeah. Let me log into this real quick. Oh, yeah. Sure no, I got my notes. Thing. So, uh, so yeah, uh, we decided we were going to start off right at midnight with a tribute to the 18-plus uh, panels at conventions that we have gone to before. Uh, you know, the, the, there are those, uh, those uh, panels that... Uh, happened after the kids have gone to sleep where you can talk about things that you wouldn't talk about in front of them <laughs> it's true so the question of course is why in the world would jazz choose for his 18 plus panel to be about um animal facts so what are you going to talk about tonight jazz? okay what? so i'm going to talk about all the animal facts that i can't mention at work because they're deeply inappropriate uh, but still really fascinating. The thing is, um, animals are very, very weird. Um, and they do a lot of weird things with their, uh, their genitals the and their butts. I, Jasper, the, the Twitch is already set for 18 plus. You can say dick. It's oh, okay. okay. Good, good. We're going to talk about dicks. <laughs> That's the camera right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're, we're, we're going to talk about dicks tonight. Okay. Oh Yeah. Um, so, so, yes, okay, yeah, here we go. Finally. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, we, we do have the chat up too, so we'll try to answer questions as well. And I think that this is, this has not been scripted at all. We have some things we, we kind of want to talk about, but there's nothing scripted. And so someone mentioned, said, I hope you talk about elephants. So you actually did have elephants on. on yeah. Yeah. Today, right? So elephants, um, <laughs> <laughs> so elephants are fun because um, they can't do the kind of motions that we typically associate with um, sex because they can't bend their knees like that. They're, they they would break. Um, they're they're much too big uh, to do the do uh, like you usually see in like dogs or horses or you know whatever. Uh, so instead you. <laughs> We have this deeply awkward arrangement where the female stands very, very still. And the male... To be fair, I, I, I've been told that sometimes that's true for, for human sex as well. <laughs> Only so... if it's not good. Well, so then the male, you know, kind of very carefully, because you don't want to fall off the female and just 
break. Um, so he very carefully climbs on top of her um, and then deploys his prehensile penis, um, which, of course, of course, they have a prehensile <laughs> penis. They have a trunk. Uh, it makes sense. They figured out how to make their bits extra wiggly. And they also realized, and I found a very charming picture I won't show anyone ever, um, that <laughs> they figured out how to um, pleasure themselves using their trunks and inserting their prehensile penises, um, which is just honestly a height that most mortals can only aspire to, I would imagine. Uh, so, so my question now is, is why is all of the animal uh, like tentacle hentai about like octopines or octopodes to use the correct oh, term yeah. and not elephants? a good question uh, we're, we're, we're getting the chat hot and bothered here, so. <laughs> we'll have to forward that query to like elephant furries I guess um, alright so, so question can you be an elephant furry since elephants don't have fur I can't get into the taxon taxonomy of furries. <laughs> uh, that's 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 that's, that's a, a real panel. yeah. That's a whole different panel um, that's, that's, that's PJ that I'm Con not an authority on. <laughs> not that I'm an authority on this. This is strictly for entertainment value um, because I pull my facts from all over the dang place. And uh, I mean, we have not confirmed any of yeah. these, but we're pretty sure most of them are. Familiar. Yeah, not suitable for inclusion in your thesis unless you fact check us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but open this back up. There are so many weird dongs in the world. So uh, so this kind of got us on the subject of octopodes. So I think that we had a, a lot to do with the ocean, right? Oh, yeah, we definitely do. I mean, octopodes are fun uh, because a lot of times you'll find that they'll just rip the dick off and hand it to a female. Um, and then she'll stash who them needs, who needs in her... chocolate and flowers just rip the dick off? Yeah, they're like, look, I mean... You want it? I hope so. And, and, and you know, the, the nice thing about that is that the female can stash multiple dicks in the, the space under her mantle. So it's kind of like being handed a ketchup packet. Um, and you just kind of put it in your console later until you really feel like having octopus babies. And then you just, like, squirt a little bit of it on top of your, your eggs. And... Do, do, do you imagine that she, like, labels them? like? Oh, I mean, maybe. Like, you know, I, it, there's a lot of questions. Like, yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of things you could do with that sort of setup. But, yeah, they uh, not quite as weird as anglerfish, though. Uh, anglerfish really do a <laughs> bouquet of dicks or the date is off. <laughs> this, ch this chat is gorgeous, by the way. You all are, are the reason we're doing this. Oh, yeah. Um, I just, I just want to talk about these things. It's fun. It's interesting to me. It's hilarious. And uh... <sighs> So, anglerfish. Anglerfish are... Oh, we, we have an anglerfish fan in the audience. Oh, good. Today. Okay, uh... so you can correct me if I'm too, too drastically mistaken, but... Anglerfish have this absurd size discrepancy between the sexes. Um, so you have these itty bitty little males and these enormous females. Um, like imagine if you were dating uh, a giant woman, like a Chrysler building. All I um, want to do is sit around and do a giant woman, a giant woman. <laughs> And so, yeah, they wither down to, they, they find this anglerfish, they, they attach to her, and then they just wither down to gonads um, until she feels like she could use, again, um, the thing co in, contained inside, and then she can just choose from any of the males that have attached to her body and withered down to just gonads. <laughs> So all, all that's left is, is all, all that's left. Back. Yeah, it kind of does this. It, it'll like latch on and basically just become a part of her. Um, like the creepiest part of the uh, the movie, uh, the what's it? The the one with the 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 color out of space. Oh god! Um, with Nicolas Cage. Yeah, yeah. That, that movie was creepy enough, and now I have to think about sex. Yeah, um, and angler. That's just how anglerfish do. Um, they just find a woman. Um, and completely give up on their lives and shrivel down until all that's left of them is their balls. I, I'm noticing a, a, 
a, a, a like a tendency in the ocean life there to just like hand the, the just the just dick. here you go here i'm not but, worthy but i guess just they, take they it. go a little bit further though they become um. they just become the, the <laughs> Yeah, they, they really take it to a new level. Um, they move in like uh, she's an apartment, and they're giving up on their lives. <laughs> wow, that is some codependency. That, that is some, that is some, oh, uh, yeah. some issues there. Let me there. Okay, so, um, so some questions from chat about, uh, about this. Would you consider that uh, uh, Futanari or Boar? Hmm... You know, it's tricky. Um, Questions you were not expecting to get tonight. Yeah, that's spicy. Um, <laughs> I respect it, but I, I I don't consider myself an authority in those genres necessarily. Um, so I, I'm not sure if like assimilation and melting um, fits neatly into either of those categories. Yeah. Draw your own um, conclusions because ours are too squicky. <sighs> Also, a uh, new new dress idea for Lady Gaga, according to chat. Which? Uh, probably just. A the, oh, ang oh, just just actually, yeah. A bunch of anglerfish sticking out. So, so speaking of that, though, mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. when you originally told me about the anglerfish, I I just kind of like made made a joke about kind of how it kind of sounds like barnacles, mm -hmm. and then you said that there was actually kind of a weird thing about barnacles too, like about how they they're always hanging on to like vessels and other fish and things right yes yeah. so the thing about barnacles is when you're a stationary creature um but you still need to reproduce uh what do you do uh plants just kind of throw it out everywhere and call it a day um in many cases uh but the barnacles decided to go for a sort of like telescoping um prehensile dick um, so they can just, you know, stretch out to the next barnacle apartment next door and get it on and then pull it back and they never like have to. So they're just kind of latching on and then just kind of sticking out the deck. I think so. Yeah. Um, it, it was just weird. Again, I don't recommend looking any of this up on Google images. But um, you have. Of course I have. <laughs> I need to be able to describe it correctly. Um... <laughs> You know, and also, I'm just, like, too curious for my own good. I want to know. I want to know. Why? Why is it like this? Um, I love this panel because it's pretty much you actually uh, contributing something of value and me just laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of, um, a remarkable number of, uh, prehensile penises in the animal kingdom. Um, Ken, Ken comes right in at the point of, of, uh, hey, there are a lot of prehensile penises. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, oh! I can't recommend that because I did consider using visual aids for this. Um, but and I said no. Yeah, well, and see, it was really easy to convince me because the first animal I looked up, um, because I had I had heard descriptions and I could not adequately visualize it, um, and that was my undoing. Uh, but the first animal I looked up was the echidna. Oh God! And the thing Here is, echidnas are um, being monotremes are weird as fuck. Okay, wait, so what's weird about monotremes? Okay, so monotremes are mammals that lay eggs. Oh. Um, they're also, so like platypi, um, uh, echidnas, I don't know, there's probably others, but those are the famous ones that they make into stuffed animals. Oh, yeah, animals. because pla platypi are weird, and echidna is Knuckles. And Knuckles voiced... the Hedgehog, uh, yeah. No, 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 Knuckles. Or, sorry, echidna. Knuckles. From Sonic the Hedgehog. From Sonic the Hedgehog. And he's being voiced by Ild Idris Elba in the new movie. Okay, so I'm gonna stay off the internet for a while yeah. when that happens because. Because so 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 what we talk about next, just imagine Idris Elba having this, okay? If you thought he was sexy before, so an echidna's dick has four heads, and it uses two at a time. Isn't that like the George Washington song? Did I mention oh. his four nuts? Well, he also had four dicks. <laughs> Um, because the female echidna has a branched, um, reproductive tract. So in order to make sure that they are successfully mating with the female, they have to hit both, both targets. You, you don't know, 
you know, you, you got to be thorough. Um, so they alternate. Yeah, the double <laughs> clean. Exactly. <laughs> um, so what they do is they'll um, inflate two of the heads at a time. And then as soon as they've ejaculated in one side of the canal, like one branch, they withdraw and immediately um, the they go for the other hole with the other dicks. So that while um, two heads are... Uh, in their refractory period, um, the other two are fresh and ready to go. But it's all on, bafflingly, this, like, really thick, upsetting, thick um, trunk for an animal. Like, proportionately, uh -huh. um, it just doesn't look... Um, it, it, it's, it looks like another leg with, like, a <laughs> oh, foot yeah. made so, out of so dicks. It's just, so it's not just that we've got, like, four dicks here, but they're, they're larger than the, the, the being it's they're like, attached it's to. It's like, you know, you know when you're a kid and you draw, like, um, that's, you first learn about dicks, and so you draw, like, a man made of dicks or a hand made of dicks or I whatever. Did, I did not have this phase in my artistic really? endeavor, no. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> maybe I, maybe I hung out with some weird kids. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a, a, a dick, but then it's got four heads on it. It's, it's the weirdest fucking thing. All right. So, so, so is the dick, the, the question from chat is, is it thick with two C's? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, echidnas are just kind of round. Uh -huh. Um, when, when, when you're holding them up, um, as a scientist to display it for like, Pic photograph purposes because like i saw one picture and i was done <laughs> um uh you know it's proportionately um very large um and um uh, thick um they're very well endowed um aside from their their tragic lack of nipples so they don't have wait they don't have nipples uh, they do not have nipples um all <laughs> all monotremes instead have milk patches um, so they just sort of like sweat milk. Um, and then the babies will just sort of lick it off of them. All right. At least one person watching has gotten horny now. <laughs> like that's, that's, the thing it's just, <laughs> it's, it's fucking wild. It's weird. So, so, so the thing is, is the, and this is the question that I came up with when you were first telling me about this. Is, is I kind of imagine this from an, an evolutionary perspective mm -hmm. because like uh, a, a, a lot of people misread evolution as like the strongest survive, but really what it is is that the ones who survive are the traits that get passed on. And, and so like, I, I just have to wonder if it was just like, so just some echidna, some, some mutated echidna females for some reason that had these branched well, so theoretically, and this is going to be relevant um, when we discuss ducks. Yeah, that's actually um, what I was yeah. getting into. Uh, theoretically, if you have a complex um, reproductive tract that gives you more control over what um, semen you accept for your babies. Um, so you... Yeah, you, you've, you've got more wiggle room. But conversely, um, that just means that the males are going to select for um, being the best at getting through your vagina maze, um, which is kind of how ducks ended up with such a weird sexual arms race. So, so this is the one part where we will we will get serious for just a second, is that... Um, that uh, we, we do have to put a trigger warning here because some some duck sex, if I remember correctly, is like... Oh, it's it's not a consensual affair. No, no. Um, so, so this is where, like, th th this goes way too far. So just, just making it clear. But, but we could not mention the vagina maze without the ducks because the sexual arms race, it's like the, the women are trying really hard not to have sex. Yeah, so they're making these, like, you know, labyrinth vaginas with dead ends and, like, you know, all this shit. And so the male ducks, uh, to compensate for this, made um, these obscene, spring-loaded, spiraling, enormous things. So this is the thing, this is the thing, I, I want you all to pay attention to this, because cause when folks talk about ducks, they, they do mention, a lot of people will bring up the duck corkscrew penis. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but, and, and, and we now know that that's specifically for the vagina maze. Mm -hmm. But, 
But it turns out the corkscrew aspect of it is 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 the tamest part. Did you just say spring loaded? Well, yeah, because you got to be able to like shoot it out quick, so you can basically like ambush her. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> are, are we talking shoot out the semen quick, or what are we shooting out um, quickly? You know, I assume both. Um, the thing about ducks is, uh, oh, oh my god, just everything about ducks. Um, <laughs> You're so excited about this. Well, because ducks are super duper weird because most birds don't have penises. Um, okay. That's, that's not a bird thing. Um, maybe 70% of birds are dickless. Um, and then uh, of the ones that have, you know, dicks, sometimes it's this... Um, really debatable organ um like in chickens um where it's like okay yeah you got a you got a cool little nub but like so so what do most birds have let's, let's um most birds first. have a cloaca okay. uh, well i mean they all have cloacas but most birds just have the cloaca and um they'll do uh if you've ever had Chad a Chad is so excited that they knew what a cloaca was. By oh the way. yeah, yeah. That's the bird's I, like I, utility hole. I literally only know the term cloaca because of Mass Effect 2, because apparently Solarians have them. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um it's lizards I think have them too. Um it's just a really efficient hole. It does all the things. Um and uh honestly, yeah, I think it would um the the uh you can find videos of like high speed um, duck dick fires, um, but I, I again I can't recommend that. Um, but yeah, yeah, they so in order to have um, sex, uh, most birds will just line up their cloacas. So one will put you know aim it upward, and then the male will kind of like sit on top. Like if you had two jars and you were moving mayonnaise from the top jar into the bottom jar, you had to call it mayonnaise. And that's and that's how you do. Um, and that's 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 pretty much. See, for some reason, I'm just picturing those animals that where the mothers will like chew the food and then just kind of open their mouth and mm -hmm, drop it into mm -hmm, the baby's Yeah. Mouth, except for fucking. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, it's it's classy. It's you know, everybody just sort of like sits together for a minute and. You know, or I, I don't know how they do, but uh, it's not like how ducks do it. Yeah, um, no, not if you're a duck, though. If you're a duck, you're a fucking monster. Yeah, funnily enough, um, birds that do have dicks are ducks, geese, swans, emus, and so ostriches. So all the shitty ones. Yeah, all the meanest birds have penises. Make yeah. that of <laughs> make of that what you will. There is a <laughs> there, there's a metaphorical line we could draw here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um i want to double check this next fact fact and be sure <laughs> Wait, look look at this we, we've completely scarred chat to the concept of mayonnaise <laughs> you, you're, i mean it's made of done. eggs uh, yeah that's oh mm. okay yeah um i was right I just wanted to be sure before I made this wild claim. Um, in addition to being, you know, twisty corkscrews and uh, spring-loaded, uh, ducks also <laughs> can't keep these monstrous organs all year long. Um, so in much the same way that a deer will grow antlers um, for mating season to show off, ducks will grow their members. Um, for mating season, so they can bang. Um, so wait, what what happens at the end of mating season? Oh, it falls off. So wait, they just spring load the whole dick in then. <laughs> I would have to look that up. Honestly, <laughs> I assume that it withered up and dropped off. Is it um, MC? Is it MC? Not thousand foot Jesus. Who is it that has the song "Detachable Penis"? Like. <sighs> Yeah, a, a remarkable number D of animals D do detachable penises. DJ Kelly is in chat. She probably knows who did that one. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow, the chat is continuing to, to draw <laughs> comparisons between mayo and semen, and that's mm -hmm. oh, it's nightmare fuel. I, I um, I'm not sure that I will uh, that I will ever be. Uh, you know, I'm putting mayo on your breakfast tomorrow, right? Well, I don't have to see that. I just eat it. <laughs> That's probably how the uh, the ducks feel about it, too. <laughs> All right, so what you're telling me... Okay, yep, 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 yep. ...is that they've got this, like, this, this, this... 
penis that can can screw its way through the, the through the labyrinth through the maze. Uh, yep. Because because the labyrinth vagina actually has dead ends, right? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, specifically because, you know, like, uh, fuck that dick. Um, you know, you didn't say you wanted to have a romantic evening with this duck. Um, so like other creatures, you have opted to, um, invest in dead ends. Um, but unfortunately, uh, you know, they invested in nightmare dicks. Um, instead of politely ripping them off and handing you to keep for later. I feel like this is, like, the worst game of Snake ever, like. It's not a video game I would want to play. Uh, King Missile, thank you. Yes. King Missile was detachable penis. Yeah, ah, ah, thank you. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, the chat is moving. Honestly, this is the fastest moving chat I have ever had on this channel, which tells tells me that we need to talk about animal dicks more apparently oh man i mean i can always look up more facts this is really fun for me um (laughs) the devil's liquid the devil's (laughs) oh all right um oh uh throwback to the echidna um because i missed one of my facts i was i was referring back to my notes we're, we're, we're just going uh, quick and fast here. Um, yeah, um, just so we're clear, um, it also has spines. The echidna or the penis? Uh, the penis. Hold on. Four-headed, maze-traversing penis with spines. Mm-hmm. Because um, uh, uh, <laughs> some animals will have spines on their penis um, because it, um, uh, we're not 100% sure, but it probably helps um, stimulate uh, ovulation. Yeah. So, so you it, stick it in and you stab it in and you go, it's fu- time. This is the most fucked up version of rib for her pleasure that I've ever heard of. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's weird. Um, <laughs> it's weird. Oh. oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. We got, we, got, we got some weird, weird stuff, honestly. So apparently, according to Bockel, who has about as much authority as we do, because we're going oh, fully yeah. on hearsay here, uh, Chewbacca in chat says that apparently cats have barbs. That's, uh, that's what I've always heard, um, is that uh, they're barbed, but I've never, like, looked i haven't i haven't looked up pictures of that um well i guess i know what you're doing when the chat's over yeah i just have to know so oh go ahead oh uh i was just going to switch topics again so say what you would so so i noticed that there was a uh freak out in chat (laughs) about not wanting ovulation simulation but of course uh the thing is is that uh for a lot of these species it is uh, just completely about, you know... Um... Oh, it's just about, like, producing some yeah. young. Um, like, especially with, like, octopodes, um, uh, the, the female actually dies um, during the uh, the reproductive cycle. Really? Um, yeah, she starves to death keeping the babies alive. Um, they actually figured out uh, the specific brain function that triggers her to do that. Um, when it's time for her to, to lay her eggs. Um, and they found that if they took that away, um, then she would abandon her eggs entirely, but not die. Huh. Um, but then the eggs all die, so. Um, but yeah, she it takes like a really long time, um, and she will basically find a safe place, um, have all of her, they look like little like dangly pearls. She'll like string up all the little babies, and then she'll use her tentacles to fan water over them so they stay oxygenated. See, I was going to um, make a pearl necklace joke, but this is actually kind of sad. Oh, no, it's super sad. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, um, the reason why we're the boss and octo- <laughs> we're not we're not <laughs> slaves to our octopus masters is because she dies during this process. Um, and they're not really particularly social creatures. Um, so they're not passing on, um, you know, generational life lessons or anything. She just has a shit ton of babies, dies, um, basically getting them to hatch. 
Uh, and then there's ideally enough of them that some of them live. Okay. Um. So, this, this kind of brings up, uh, you know, we're talking about evolutionary imperative, but I, I've heard somewhere that apparently uh, dolphins can actually find pleasure in sex. Oh, yeah. Um, but you also told me dolphins are assholes. Oh, yeah, no, dolphins are monsters. Uh, I'm not sure why people like them. Um, they're just big dicks. Uh, they like to do drugs and they like to bully others. Wait, uh, dolphins do drugs? Yes. Um, so they actually, uh, get a twofer on, uh, the drugs because they get their drugs by bullying another animal. Um, <laughs> they'll pass around a puffer fish and just bat, bat it around with their snoots. And it's not enough to, like, kill them, but it does get them kind of fucked up. So they just pass it around like a party drug. Dolphins. I don't um, know. Okay, so so while you're talking about that, DJ Kelly A is pointing out in chat that apparently uh, the part of Charlottesville we didn't see is that mother spiders liquefy their new babies and drink them with a straw. So we have mother spiders drinking their young, and we have... Dolphins batting around a puffer fish. Well, I mean, a lot of animals will eat their young to recoup losses. Um, that's one of the reasons why I decided not to become a hedgehog breeder, um, because hedgehogs will basically eat their babies at the drop of a hat. Um, <laughs> you spook them, you sneeze near their enclosure, and whoops, um, they eat them all, because uh, they're sure they're going to die, and uh, you have to start from scratch. <sighs> Which, you know, since uh, male and female uh, hedgehogs don't like each other, there's a good chance that every time you try and stud um, your hedgehog, he's just going to fucking die because she'll kill him. <laughs> um, but you don't want to interrupt them too much because you might ruin your only chance to get them to breed. Um, <sighs> so, the, so it might be working and you don't realize it, and then you stop it, and all of a sudden it doesn't work and she kills him. Yeah. Oh. Um, there's just a lot of variables where, um, there's a lot of violence. Oh, the um, baby with... spiders shrink the mother. That's even worse. Oh. Oh, well, that's practical. <laughs> so she fulfilled her, her, uh, biological, like, like, that's, that's why you see a lot of these, like, sad outcomes in, in animals, though. Like, in an octopus, um, she's already made a million babies. She doesn't need to live anymore. Um... And, and wow, how Republican. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that, I that's, just... that's the comment that gets me the, the hate comments right there. That's, <laughs> we were perfectly fine talking about, about like absolute terrible behavior of ducks. But no, now that I've made a comparison between oh. like octopodes and Republicans, it's, it's over now. Animals are rude as shit. Um... <laughs> So we were talking about, I admit that I keep, I, 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 I'm trying to facilitate between chat and, and oh, you, no, but I've I, got it. I keep getting us off, off topic. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we were talking about dolphins. Yes. Okay. So we know that uh, dolphins do drugs and we know that dolphins will murder for fun. Um, they're, Wait, what? Well, that... <clears throat> Arguably, it's a function of their, like, intelligence. They're smart enough to um, enjoy play, um, and also, like, play that ends in uh, ruthless killing. Uh, so they'll just, like, gang up on stuff and kill it, but then not, like, do anything with it. They're just like, mm, I sure do love killing. Um, kind of like your neighborhood cat. <laughs> um, they're just like, dope. I, I killed something. I feel better. Um, but we also know that they're, um, just horrible sex pests and huge creeps, um, uh, because they've tried to sex, like, they've tried to sexually harass their trainers before. Um, there was, like, a study where, uh, the same trainer was working with a dolphin over and over and over and over and over again, and he bonded with her, and he definitely wanted to fuck her. It was clear. Um, and it, it happens sometimes with animals and it's usually not like a huge problem. Like, you know, oh no, if your bird wants to fuck you, that's just kind of an inconvenience. But dolphins are the same size um, as you but are. But dolphins are yeah. pretty big. And usually if you're interacting with a dolphin, you're in the water with it. 
and um, it's just not great. It's not great. I don't know why people swim with dolphins. It's just like willingly. I, I mm. at least with if you're swimming with sharks, they put you in a cage. Um, like I, I don't understand. I, I don't think a lot of people know this fact about dolphins, unfortunately. Yeah, and I mean, maybe they use nice dolphins for that. You know, for a long time, I didn't believe that there was such a thing as nice cows, uh, because I had only met meat cows, and those are evil. Uh, so people would talk about nice cows, and I'm like, those fools, those suckers. Um, they don't know. Um, I know because I've been face to face with a cow, and it was horrifying. Um, God. They're just really big, and they're mean. Uh, no, no. You don't want to get stomped to death by a bull. Because mm. um, they're faster than you really want them to be, too. Uh, but yeah. Dolphins are dicks. Not not a fan. Yeah, meat cows, um, I think, are just mean, is the point that we were getting at. Well, it's because yeah. it's they're poorly um, poorly socialized, generally. Um, like, dairy cows and, um, you know, show cows, you're going to be interacting with them a lot. Uh, so they're, they're going to know what's up. Uh, but uh, if you have a meat cow that only ever sees you when you pitch hay over the fence or you're, like, moving them from one field to another... Uh, it's probably not going to be as nice. Um, and also, like, all of those experiences were when I was a very small child. Um, so they would have been a serious, serious danger to me. I mean, I do have beef with cows. That's why I eat beef. Um, I've never felt guilty about that. Um, some things are just delicious. Um, You're a monster. I mean... It's, uh... It's good for the environment. They they have horrible carbon emissions. Just just you know. We should stop making more. Probably shouldn't eat as much meat as we. Yeah do. yeah, but uh. Hmm. So we talked about birds. And um. <laughs> we've talked about some some wonderful sea creatures. Um. How are we feeling on our animal facts? Are we, uh, are, are we... We have 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes? Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, God. It bothers me that you got excited. <laughs> well, okay, so this is cute, though, in, like, an alarming sort of way, right? Um, what does that even mean? Okay, so... <clears throat> you know that trope um, where there's a sword fight and it's really tense and at the end you think like oh man they're gonna kiss mm -hmm. um so that's what flatworms do um with their penises because they all have one all right so all flatworms have penises um yeah so these um i'm not sure about like all, all flatworms, because that's a pretty pretty huge category that's right um but uh usually it's <laughs> These flatworms, they're hermaphroditic. Um, so whoever wins the sword fight um, just stabs it into the uh, other flatworm pretty much wherever. Um, and that's it. That's how they do it. Um, so they'll, like, fence for a really long time fighting over, like, who gets to be uh, the, uh, the innie and who gets to be the outie. Um, I feel like this. There's a Homestuck Kismases reference right? in here somewhere. Right? It's just it's really funny because they their members do look like little swords and they just kind of like bing 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 and fence until somebody wins and then they're making a baby. Um, you probably could honestly could get what um, so, double stabs. Double stabs. Um, okay. So <laughs> yeah, it is like thumb war for penises. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. And awful. I mean, it's cute. Like, if you've ever seen a flatworm, the cuteness really detracts from the horror. Um, it doesn't look, like, scary or sad. It looks like two two little, little noodle guys having a nice time. Um, you know, fencing. Uh, until the very end. Um, and then maybe it's a little objectionable, but you know, it's cute. You see a little picture of it. You're like, oh, you're not like, oh, damn, that's, that's effed up. The peep war. <laughs> <laughs> that 
I came from chat. I'm I'm not smart enough to come up with that one on my own. Um. So while while we're talking about weird ocean stuff, um, we weren't, just, but that's okay to go back to. Just it. uh, just so so you guys know, um, because well, uh, a lot of flatworms are in the uh, the ocean. I did not know that. Yeah. I thought that they were just worm worms. Oh no 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 no! Those like pretty like here's a here's a little picture. It, it looks like a. You guys a, don't get to see that. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. It looks like a ribbon you'd buy at Joanne's, but it's alive. Um, and it's a flatworm. Surprise! Um, and uh, they come in like a lot of colors. There's a lot of different kinds of uh, flatworms. Um, but whales. Whales are big, Wh whales right? Whales got mentioned earlier, like uh, as orca is being as big a dick as a dolphin, according to dolphins, according to chat. Um, so I. I believe that that orcas are dicks. Um, I. So what do you have to say about whales? So you know how we had all these stories about like krakens and like these monsters with right, huge those tentacles. Were, like, octopodes and squids, right? Um, well, some of them could have been, um, but some of them were definitely whale dick. Wait. Because we have like illustrations, and now we know. So it wasn't even like a tentacle coming up. They just saw a giant fucking Peter coming out of the ocean. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's like, it's huge. It's a reasonable assumption to make. You see some movement under the water. The water gets, you know, messed up. Um, and then you see this like 10 foot long thing. Um, just like white and smooth. Just like flop out of the water and wave around. Because dolphins, or not dolphins, um, wow. whales just kind of like to stick their dicks in the air and just kind of like do that. So sometimes they'll just like, you know, just be like, whoop, and they'll put their dick in the air and it'll scare the bejesus out of everybody. We have been talking about this for like almost 30 seconds and no one in chat has made a Moby Dick joke. And <laughs> all of you fail. <laughs> you have all disappointed me. Oh, gosh. I, um, that, that, I, it's so weird because you see these, like, illustrations of whales and things. And so you, you would think that, that, that a big old fucking schlong would be, like, part of that illustration that you they just no. don't put it in there. No, no, no. Um, I, I, I think that it's one of the things. A lot of uh, animals have, uh, like, retractable penises. So it's a 10-foot-long retractable dick. I feel like I lost out on the evolutionary uh, bingo here. The good news is, at least each of your balls Sperm don't balls. weigh 150 pounds. Do whale balls weigh 150 whale, whale balls do weigh 150 pounds each. Look at the cojones on that one! That way they can, uh, they can ejaculate their uh, literal gallons of sperm. Uh, whales, whales heard about Texas, and uh, they went with it. Uh, everything's bigger. Um, oh, well, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of animals with dick bones. The um, only one I know of is horses. Oh, and no. I know that for a very disturbing reason. Why do you know that horses have uh, <laughs> this dick my bones? Panel. Um, but, but I want to know. Uh, so, so uh, God, I, I think this was like late 90s, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a, a, a video going around because, you know, the early days of the internet, you would like just send, uh, horrible pictures and videos to people just to like, oh yeah. But, yeah. And, trolling. Like, yeah. Trolling. That's mm -hmm. that sort of way. And like, so Goatsy was a good example. Uh, yeah. See, you immediately thought of that. So someone has hit you with that. So one video that was, was getting passed around was apparently a guy decided to have sex with a horse. No. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Um, and 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 the, the horrified look on your face uh, is because. Um, Did he you, die? Uh, he was very injured. Um, because <sighs> hor horses have like bones in their penises. And they're also enormous. Like, just don't. I. Uh, that that is a size discrepancy that is not, no, no, no. no. 
Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that dragon ain't got nothing on horses. Yeah, that'll just fucking kill you. Like, don't, don't do it. <laughs> like, don't. No. Oh, man. Yeah, like, a lot of animals do have um, penile bones uh, just to help with uh, staying erect, honestly. It's just kind of like a, a practical thing. The Who downside is... Yeah, the downside is uh, it can break, um, and uh, that's no good. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, even raccoons have penis bones. Um, you can buy them at the store. <laughs> I have some. You have raccoon penis bones? Yeah. How did I not know this? Oh, yeah, no. It, they look really cool, honestly, because it's just like a, uh, a little long line with like a little hook at the end because I collect bones and rocks and stuff. I knew that you collected bones and rocks. I didn't know any of them were dick bones. Yeah, I think I got a dick bone for my birthday. Because um, I didn't have one yet. I didn't need it. It's... <laughs> I've always wanted, like, I've wanted um, dick so, bones for years. So the there was a legend that Catherine the Great had sex with a horse. Uh, the, why do I know so many horse fucking facts? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I, I avoided, I, I admit, I'm not a real horse person, so I didn't get a lot of horse dick so, facts. So apparently, uh, apparently the, uh, the, the horse uh, rumor is complete pile pile of shit oh uh she did not that that was like started by one of her uh one of her like enemies or oh whatever. somebody who didn't like her yeah so uh, but but that is that is uh incorrect um so yeah i i don't know much about the facts that we're spinning tonight but apparently i know my horse cock stuff yeah, you know, uh, somebody needed to know, yeah, yeah. Um, and I didn't, so I, I, I am learned never something. Never going to be known as a as a DJ from now on. I was like, oh, Pat six two six, that envy that knows about horse dick. Okay, I'm going to clip so much of this conversation. It's going to be great. So the the last fact, because are we are we ending at one? Um, I mean. We can it, end whenever, I guess. It, I mean, like, the thing is, is people are still paying attention, and if you still have more facts, you can feel free to keep coming. I, <laughs> I could not not say that. That's fair. It wouldn't be a panel all about dick facts uh, if we didn't make <laughs> at least a few very dirty jokes. Oh. <laughs> Chat is excellent. Chat is wonderful. I kind of wish I'd put it up. On uh, on the screen here. That's 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 PJCon twenty twenty two knowledge. Oh there. yeah. Um. So my last fact, uh, and and I will let you dwell on what you have learned, and we can uh, we can kind of wind down. Is that um. Do you ever think about slugs? No. Okay. Well, I do because <laughs> slugs are great. Um, they're pretty and they're cool, um, as long as you don't step on them, um, because then it's the worst thing that's ever happened. Um, but, uh, slugs have a little bit of a logistical challenge, right? Um, they are really well endowed. Um, so... Are they? Yeah. Um... And, yeah, th so... I've had a slug on me. I mean, their dicks are about the same size as their body. So, so really, I was just getting rubbed by slug dick. Uh, no, because um, the leopard slug's um, penis is also um, bright electric blue. So you'd know. It's like there's the slug, and then the, uh, out of the slug comes another slug that's really bright blue. So, um, so electric blue slug is my new, uh, electric blue slug dick is yeah. my new, uh, yeah. band name. They do, like, this really, um, ridiculous, uh, kind of poetic thing where they, uh, make a rope of slime, and they twine together, and since they're hermaphroditic, um, they just, like, uh, they both, uh, impregnate the other at the same time. Um, and it's, it's just the weirdest that's, fucking thing. It's kind of beautiful though. It's, think about it's, it. yeah, like it, it's kind of like a, a pretty idea. Um, you know, it's just also very weird and also they're slugs. So it's kind of gross. Um, but, but <laughs> the same size as their body. How does that even happen? 
<laughs> Imagine being the first person to see that. Uh, you know what? I, I, I can just imagine seeing that now. Even yeah. If I'm not, even if I'm like the the five billionth person to see that, it's it's gonna be the same. It's still gonna weird well, me out. Well, yeah. See, it... <laughs> just taking a normal hike, <laughs> and you see some weird electric blue thing dangling from a branch. What is this? You realize it's a porn. <laughs> No other convention has started like this. <laughs> no matter what you say about PJCon 2021, no, no matter what gets said about it, like no, no other convention has ever started like this. We are unique. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Singular even. Oh. <laughs> But I'm 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 really glad. Uh, we might have to do this again. Oh, I I imagine you can find more dick facts in a year. Oh, see, so that's the thing is that there's so many weird facts. Like animals just do so many things so weird, um, from square poops to weird dicks to. Oh, am I too far away? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, animals do everything weird if you look long enough. Um, Weird dicks, weird poops, weird eyes, uh, weird everything. Um, weird, weird respiration. There's a turtle that breathes through its butt. Um, that way it doesn't. Um, that way it doesn't drown when the the pond freezes over. Oh. Um, so it just breathes through its cloaca. Um, so like it'll. Um, when it's out of the water, it'll just breathe like we expect turtles to breathe. But then when it's trapped underwater under the ice, it opens up its butthole and uh, it breathes through that. Huh. Yeah. Because its butt isn't trapped or something? Um, no, its butt is trapped underwater. It's just its butt can extract uh, air from the water, I guess. Wow. Just breathes through its butt. Butt breath used to be an insult, and now like it's... Now it's a survival mechanism. Yeah, it is yeah. a real animal fact. This is the stuff they left out of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right, right. That's true. <laughs> I was actually, I was, th I was thinking about that, about all of the animals that you've mentioned this evening, and if any superheroes were based on them, I was like, oh, well, hmm. Like, like no, seriously, I, I'm very surprised that the, the supervillain, the Vulture, doesn't actually vomit on his enemies. Right? Like, you know? why wouldn't he? And, and, like, caterpillars can apparently, like, defecate at, at uh, like, oh, yeah. supersonic speeds yes. from far away. And so mm -hmm. I kind of want to be the caterpillar superhero that just shits on the enemies, like, from oh, far away. Gosh. Yeah, I like that. Because you can imagine that, like, if you were a criminal committing crimes, if I punch you, you're just like, all right, well, I got to get stronger and I'll punch him next time. But, it, but if I shit on you... Oh, that's you a are strong deterrent. You're never that's... committing a crime again. Yeah, that's upsetting. Spider-Man, Butt Gill. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I am. I'm very happy that this many people joined us for uh, the beginning of PJ Con. It's really sweet. It's Since pretty the, late at the, night. This is the latest panel we're gonna have. Yeah. And the very first one, and it's actually already been super popular. Mm hmm. Which which makes me happy, you know. Not always. Hmm. Do more animal facts. Yeah, no, I just love animal facts. We we can even have a, a PG animal facts panel. Sometime. Oh, there's plenty. There's, I don't. It's, is there more? Who's to say? But there's lots of PG animal facts. Oh yeah. Um, lots and lots. It's just the dick ones were funnier. The dick ones were honestly like burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> um, so this was just my way of avoiding ambushing everyone intermittently over the next couple of months with so, dick facts. So seriously, folks, I, I don't think you realize, uh, when, uh, I suggested this, this con, like what, three, four weeks ago, mm -hmm. maybe. And it was like, yeah, so, you know, we could, uh, uh even in, 
it started off as, as just like this. That's kind of why we're doing this as an opening ceremony because this was one of the first panels. Yeah, one of the first panels we talked about. Yeah. Because, uh, we we talked about, you know, maybe we'll just play video games together. We're like, oh, well, we could invite people to, to do panels and performances yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you could do a panel if you want. And the very first thing Jasper comes up with is, yeah, I want to talk about animal dicks. <laughs> And this know. is how I know that that we are destined to be together for the rest of our lives. Because I talk about putting on a convention. He's like, yeah, I want to do an 18 plus panel about about animal cock. Yeah. I mean, you can't learn the things I've learned and not inflict them on other people. That's the thing. I can't be the only one who knows what I know about echidnas. Um, it's too messed up. Uh, I, I, you know, you've ruined the Sonic the Hedgehog sequel for me now. Yes. <laughs> uh, none of us should go online. <laughs> we should. We can watch it, but we can't look up any fan art. It's not safe. Uh -huh. But yeah, you know. I have to share my knowledge with the world. And that's why I love you. I love you too. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, no, you're wrong, chat. No one needs to see Neverending Story 3. I've seen it, and you're just wrong. Um, <laughs> but, no, thank you all for joining us uh, for the very first uh, PJCon Um I don't know, like, I make jokes about PJCon uh, 2022. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm hoping coronavirus will be manageable, if not gone, yeah. by I'd, next year. I'd love to see people in person at a convention yeah. eventually. Um, but uh, regardless, it's, it's really nice to know that, like, two hours into this, mm -hmm. uh, we already have a bunch of people hanging out with us and, and just... Uh, enjoying this with us and it's um, so fun because i didn't i didn't expect this kind of uh response or feedback i honestly just figured i would be um info dumping on pat in front of a camera for a while and maybe like one or two people would show up uh but <laughs> i just really wanted to talk <laughs> And <laughs> yes, um, we are really gross. Mm -hmm. um, we're chat is uh, saying that we're we're too we're in love up, and it's gross. Yeah. And uh, personally, I uh, lean into that. Uh, I, I like to be just just uh, insufferable. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of this con is us being insufferable. Um, so coming up. Later today, since it's now Friday, the first official oh, day yeah. of B BJCon. Mm -hmm. um, so what have we got going on? I think uh, we're, we're doing Mario Kart and Trash Talking oh, yeah. uh, around like two or so. Uh, mm -hmm. Zan mm -hmm. Nilsson mm -hmm. is performing mm -hmm. on their ukulele. Yep, I'm looking uh, forward 12. to that. Yep, uh, mm -hmm. they're doing covers and original songs. Apparently, uh, they have a song about being an Envy, nice. which is really cool. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really here for that, obviously. Um, let's see, and we have the, we have the crafting party. Oh so yeah, yeah, my crafting corner. Yeah, so uh. there's going to be a craft party that I'm going to be DJing mm -hmm, for. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to happen. Um, I think I mentioned, yeah, uh, kicking my ass at Mario Kart. <laughs> um, if there I... are other people that want to contribute to that, by the way, if folks aren't going to be here playing Mario Kart with us, mm -hmm. which we don't know if folks will be here or not, mm -hmm. uh, an invitation was uh, put out but has not yet been uh, reciprocated yet. Uh, so uh, we can actually get people. Uh, I could set up an, an online room, and you can have up to two people playing uh, online with against other people. So oh, nice. So we could okay. do that. Okay. So cool. that's an option. Um, mm -hmm. Feel free to message me, whisper me on uh, Twitch, or message me on Facebook. Uh, if mm -hmm. you're not friends with my personal account on Facebook, you can still go to facebook.com slash pat626. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Send me a message. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's, that's going to be stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow. And then, of course, Saturday, we've got uh, DJ Kelly A, who's mm -hmm. been in mm -hmm. chat. Uh, mm -hmm. going to be the first time that she's uh, hosted her 
Moving Shadows podcast online. Oh, wow. Nice. So that's going to be really cool. Very cool. Uh, we've got a panel with uh, Ken Magerman of Sand- yep. Sounds and Shadows yep. about building an online brand. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah, Excited for that one. I should actually I should pull up the schedule because I feel like I'm missing things. Let well, you're see. missing all of your uh, your cute uh, free block uh, activities, too. Well, which Those we, are pretty charming. Yeah. not missing anything oh the link didn't work your face didn't work <laughs> like I have to like capitalize it there we go Beautiful. so yeah uh, tomorrow's Ann Nilsson gaming and trash talking oh painting with cha cha we yep. forgot to mention that yep. I knew I was if you've ever wanted to see a dog paint <laughs> that's gonna happen at 7 it's mm-hmm. adorable and, and you wanna show up right on time for that one uh, because you get to help choose the colors he's going to paint with. It's true. Um, Chacha, Chacha likes his special painting time. Uh, he'll he'll do anything for cream cheese. Yes, but he won't do that. Uh, I'm glad you got that joke, by the way. There are some people <laughs> in the chat that are probably scratching their head now. Um, so, And then on Sunday, we've got uh, Bishop Clark on a couple panels. Uh Doing getting the most out of your public library, mm-hmm. and then uh, going to join us, uh, Surya, Fiona, and I uh, doing a panel on allies versus bystanders, mm-hmm. and how you can help your scene. Yep. And then we'll have closing ceremonies where we'll, where we'll just talk about stuff and see if anyone enjoyed it and has any suggestions for next year. And then we'll mm-hmm. finish out with subculture shock on Sunday. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, Cha-Cha would love some meatloaf, I'm sure. I'm glad you got that joke, Oscar. <laughs> I don't think we can feed him meatloaf, though. He, oh, man. Uh, it would be a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, he has a very delicate stomach, but he can eat Doritos. Um, so he's been, uh, he's been pouting all night. Uh, he might get some tomorrow. Yeah, no. So there will, there will definitely be, be Doritos mm-hmm. for Cha-Cha. Oh, yeah. He got his chicken treat. He's fine. So yeah, um, I, I think that's that that is it for the opening ceremonies. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow um, at was it uh, noon at the latest? Mm-hmm. I, no, actually I think Zan is at two. So two at the latest tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, Zan Nielsen is at two tomorrow. Um, so we'll be on two at the latest. Uh, we might come in earlier and uh, just I would say check your check your Twitch notifications because mm-hmm. we also might just jump on randomly. Uh, I might take you behind the scenes at the PJ Con kitchen mm, yeah. uh, because tomorrow I am making the last bits that, of stuff that hasn't been made. I'm going to attempt a uh, barbecue chicken cheese ball. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited for that. I, I hope it turns out well. Yeah, mm-hmm. so things like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But yeah, thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, it was really an excellent time. Yeah. Hashtag Pat Jazz 2021. <laughs> Put that on Twitter. I guess. I don't know how cons work. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm usually. Um, <laughs> one last thing. This. Th- sorry, you were going to say usually? Oh, I'm, I'm usually not sober enough during a con to remember things Who like that. Who says hashtags. we're sober now? <laughs> uh, one last thing is that. Uh, I'm going to leave this up on Twitch, and I'm also going to put uh, things up on YouTube. If if you uh, watch this again, or, or if you want to go back through it, and if there were any lines that you really liked, uh, and that's both for this panel and for everything else happening for the rest of the weekend, clip them uh, for Twitch, because that actually helps build up steam and, and interest oh, nice. in the convention. So Very feel free cool. to clip things uh, that you liked, that mm-hmm. you enjoyed. So then we know what you liked, and we can, you know, do more. Do that. more of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Much Thank you love. very much. Let's see, how does the button work? Oh yeah, that one. Mm.